sometimes you subtract measurements in feet and inches. So for example, if you cut a piece from a length of pipe and you want to know how much is left. So let's say that the pipe is 2 feet 9 inches and you're going to cut off 1 feet 7 inches. So first you subtract the inches, 9 minus 7 is 2, and then you subtract the feet. 2 minus 1 is 1. So 1 foot 2 inches. Now that's all well and good and pretty simple, but what if the number of inches on the top is smaller than the number of inches on the bottom and you have to borrow from the feet? So for example, let's say we actually have 2 feet 7 inches. That's how long the pipe is and we're cutting off 1 foot 9 inches. Well, you can't take 9 away from 7, so you're going to have to borrow, and you have to borrow from the feet. So this 2 feet is now going to be 1 foot. But remember, a foot is 12 inches. So it's 12 plus 7. So now, what we're talking about is subtracting 9 from 19 inches. 19 take away 9 is 10, and 1 take away 1 is 0. So 10 inches left. But what about, what if the inches contain fractions? So now we have to subtract fractions of an inch as well. Alright, so let's say that the length of our pipe is actually 9 feet, 8 and 3 eighths inches. And the piece that we're cutting off is going to be 2 feet, 5, and 1 eighths inches. Now we're lucky in this example because we already have a common denominator and you can see that we don't have to borrow, but you might have to do that. So we've got 3 eighths take away 1 eighth is 2 eighths, 8 take away 5 is 3, and 9 take away 2 is 7 feet three and two eighths inches, but two eighths reduces, divide the top and the bottom by two, equals a quarter. So it's seven feet, three and a quarter inches. And remember that you might have to find common denominators or borrow when you're subtracting the fractions of an inch.